Do you know what an aptitude test is, Carrie? A test to test your aptitude. <laughs> 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 well, you'll find out a little more than some people say aptitude tests and uh, another term for it is psychometric testing and assessment. And here to tell us more about it are my next guest, Dr. Hazel carter Strawn, founder, managing director of Human Resource Portal and also the founder of a new magazine that we're going to be talking about as yes, well. Yes. And Dr. Joanne Spence, founder, yes. CEO of the Therapeutic Assessment Center and author of five books. Yes. Wow. Certified mediator with the Mediation Board. And we're talking about mediation just yes. last week on the program. Okay. So welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you so and much. And congratulations on the launch of this new magazine, which we're going to talk about. Sure. But first of all, for persons like Carrie, <laughs> <laughs> what is a psychometric test or aptitude test? Right. So a psychometric assessment is um, it's a really a method um, of assessing person's ability and also their personality style. Mm -hmm. So let's say we were employing someone like Carrie who would want to see if he had presentation <laughs> skills, <laughs> you know, and, and, and those specific yes. areas. Yeah. Um, we actually um, have a preference for the MAP Psychometric Assessment. Okay. Um, it's the managerial and professional profiler. Mm -hmm. And um, or recently, many of us were certified by the British Psychological Society mm -hmm. um, using um, the MAP psychometric assessment. And what exactly does it measure? Dr. Well, Smith? what we look at is person's personality. We look at leadership skills, decision-making skills, and so on, because we want to ensure that the per person's all around um, mm -hmm. capable of really carrying on the job mm -hmm. in order to the best of their ability. So we look at their personality, one, but we also look at their decision making in the organization um, in terms of their leadership skills and so on. Right. So we test those areas. In so this is used by organizations wanting to hire persons, right? Yes. I'd imagine for yes. recruitment purposes. For recruitment and purposes. So they want to make sure we get the best fit um, mm. for the organization. So we provide that kind of support for organizations. But I know it's also used in terms of mediation, conflict resolution, um, and I'll give my own story of. Uh, once persons understand the various personalities that exist, then it no longer becomes an individual or interpersonal conflict issue, but now it's based on personality, personality types, and that's types. just how the person is. Yeah. yeah. And another thing that uh, psychometrics um, can be used for, normally persons would have um, training programs, right. um, but a needs assessment is not done, especially right. if you're having national training. Yes. And a psychometric assessment is excellent if you're doing a customer service program, for example. You would want to yeah. test all participants to see where they are, yeah. where the gaps are, if you're doing teamwork, for example. Right. So psychometric assessments can be used in this unique way um, instead of a training needs assessment, which sometimes may be difficult to do prior to a training program. And it's more scientific, I'd imagine. It yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. Yes. yes. And how prevalent is it? How, uh, uh, how companies are using psychometric testing a lot in Trinidad? Yeah. Yes, um, they, they do because people want to make sure they get the best fit. So people will engage, you know, a consultant to do psychometric testing to ensure that they have the right person for the job. Yes. You know, so people, they, they, do, they do use it. Yeah. Maybe not enough, but they do use. Um, I think it's a very powerful yeah. tool. Yeah. I have yeah. found that a lot of international firms mm -hmm. are mandated, mm -hmm. and we have local firms in Trinidad and Tobago who ensure that a psychometric assessment is done. But one of the things I wanted to also mention mm -hmm. is that... Um, companies are moving towards assessment centers. Okay. Because what is that? So an assessment center is a process where a number of persons are assessed for a particular role in an organization using a number of different tools. So for example, if you're interviewing, so if you're selecting someone, um, for example, most organizations would use a competency-based interview, maybe an instructed interview or so. But what we're doing now in order to ensure that we get the best fit candidate we're using a number of tools. So an assessment center would use in-basket exercises, case studies. We may email What's a case. in-basket exercise? So an in-basket <laughs> exercise is a series of exercises. Mm -hmm. It's written. It's a written exercise. So um, let's say we are recruiting Carrie, for example. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Um, we would want to know um, if he can probably set up um, I don't know if he's responsible for this set, mm -hmm. but we would identify the position, identify the core responsibilities, yeah. and set up activities, answering emails, um, you know, preparing a report. Okay, so it's a practical sort of Correct. experiential yes. type of Yes, and it simulates exercise. the job. Yeah. It's as close to the job mm -hmm. as possible. So we want to check to see 
if he's a fit, if he can demonstrate expertise across these different activities. Yeah. What I like about that job. is that you, you get a, a closer chance of a better fit yes, individual. We talk the about the square pegs and round holes, and this really helps the person to, to actually see um, if that person really fits into the right you know, sp yeah. space. And I really love the assessment center because you're actually in the environment, in the work environment, actually doing the, you know, we set up that work place where you can sit there or uh, and I actually watch a person in terms of how do yeah, they demonstrate uh, yes yeah. you know mm -hmm. to see if they're the right so the fit. employers get to observe or well the we the assessors we are the assessors and then make the recommendation okay. yes. so the yeah. trained assessors will actually assess candidates yes and yeah. we would observe them in a team working situation we would observe them in a group situation to see how they interact we would throw situations at them to see how well they respond um, under pressure and yeah. the assessors are trained so they are actually recording the performance. And then at the end, we score all candidates and select the best fit candidate. Oh. Yeah. OK, before we go, we have to wrap. But the magazine, how do you pronounce it? It's spelled P-S-Y-C-H-R. How do you pronounce so it? It's Psych-H-R. Psych, -H -R. psych oh, yes, Psych-H-R. We found, okay. Yes, Lisa, we found <laughs> that there's a convergence between HR and psychology. But of course. Right? Yes. And so we have um, launched this magazine to ensure that there's a higher level of sensitization. So this magazine is actually in the process of being mailed out to 500 HR managers mm -hmm. across Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. We want to sensitize free of charge. Free of charge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right. So we want to sensitize persons in the business community about assessment centers and psychometric assessments because too often yes. we have misfits and uh, Recruiting is, is expensive, yes. and hiring and rehiring is very, very expensive. Right. We're also launching a course on psychometric assessments. Um, you all can reach us at 765-7365 yeah. or 280-6969 so that you can enroll in that uh, program. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Hazel carter Strong, Founding Manager, Director of Human Resource Portal, and Dr. Joanne Spence, yeah. Founder CEO of the Therapeutic Assessment Center. Thank and who was so nervous before this? <laughs> you have to give me a shimmer. <laughs> shimmer. No, you have to shimmer. I, I, I think the shimmer is the red. red. You know, know the red is bouncing off me. <laughs> as we go to the break, I need a give me a shot because I need, um, I need you to give me that shimmer. You were doing <laughs> in the break. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, well done. So Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're taking a few messages. Come right back here on the Now Morning Show.